The impetus for starting the film program really, um, the genesis of it was um, the advent of the IB, the International Baccalaureate Program. And they had a film course that was sort of in the catalog, but wasn't often um, integrated by a lot of IB schools. It just so happened we had a couple of instructors at St. Ed's that are already interested in film, teaching film courses or they're integrating film studies into uh, language arts courses. And we thought with sort of the, the engineering background the school already has, you know, students that are excited to uh, work with, with these professional grade machines and do something real, uh, really substantial with them, we thought film would be a nice balance between engineering and the arts. Uh, and with the all boys population, uh, they just took to it like ducks in the water. It's almost a dream course for a high school student in terms of getting someone ready for the college level. Um, to a certain extent, it's like an English class, except you're watching movies rather than reading books. So you learn to read a movie uh, with the jargon of film rather than the jargon of English. So instead of talking about diction, you're talking about camera angle, for example. So it's really good when you're thinking about analytical thought. And the film course is wonderful because what it lets us do is, rather than simply give a student uh, a multiple choice quiz on, you know, why would a director use a high angle uh, for a particular shot, or why would a director use low key lighting for a particular shot, um, you know, we can give them those quizzes, but then also we say, you know, all right, go shoot a film noir sh uh, short, and you're gonna have to use this sort of low key lighting that directors for film noir uh, films use. Um, or you're going to go film a horror short and you're going to have to know how to utilize bottom lighting and low-key lighting. When you're making a movie, time management skills are an absolute necessity. They have to figure out locations, they have to figure out actors for their films, they have to figure out when they're going to get together work on their scripts, figure out when they're going to do their editing. So I think the time management component is a real challenge to them, uh, but because they're so excited to make this kind of a product, they are a little bit more willing to accept that challenge and work with that challenge. Um, as an English teacher, students will often wait till the last minute to get an English paper done. Um, and early in the year they tried that with film and they realized that they were really upset with the product that they had. So I think their time management skills have grown because of that challenge. In terms of the growth of the program, I think um, our, our horizons are, you know, we'd like to have students that are actually going uh, to on set, you know, helping out the Greater Cleveland Film Commission and not just talking to the people that work there. Um, this spring, you know, we've been invited to um, come onto the set of Captain America. I think ideally, at some point, you'd actually have students that were doing real hands-on work um, and they were, they were getting to serve in meaningful internships with professionals um, and maybe give them a sense of, you know, this is a career, this is something that you can do. And it's something that makes their high school experience even that much more engaging because it's, they get a real sense that, you know, everything I'm learning here, I'm excited by and I'm going to use in just a couple of years in the real world when I'm working with professionals. I think ideally that's where the film program would grow.